Hey guys, welcome to this issue of Burner Brother Antiques. We're going to start right here at the Antique Center. Josh is already over there talking to, to someone about some stuff they're wanting to sell. We got some soul bins filling up. Uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's start right here, guys, with some salt bins. I really like this cranberry uh, cruet set right here. That one is priced at $120 in the salt bin. And check out the inkwell. That's all mahogany carved. It looks like a silver lid. Price, uh, $105, and that is sterling, and that is mahogany. That is a bargain for $105. All right, next piece going out the door today. A lot of a lot of cruet sets have been selling lately. These are, they're starting to pick up in price, especially the English ones. Uh, this guy right here is priced at $125. Uh, the decanters, most of these are priced from 19, 19, 19, 15, 24, and uh, right here's the last one priced at 20. So there you go. The, uh, most of these cut glass crystal decanters are selling right at 19 to 24 dollars uh, in the mall. We sell those regularly for that. Uh, a lot of them sell. Nice RS Prussia mold, bowl. I think that's a steeple mark on that one. Uh, there you go, red and green mark. Um, and that's pretty cool. It sold for $65 in the sold pile. And right beside it, a little crystal cup here for $9. 1904 Louisiana Purchase Expo. Oh, I didn't even see the scenes on it. Check it out. Louisiana Purchase Expo cup sold. Okay, $24 advertising Bon Ami can right here. Some other advertising, some spice, old spice boxes here. Lemon extract one for $8. Another one for $8 and then a nice basket for 25, all in the sold group. Two more Royal, Royal Dalton's going up. So this guy right here is 49, lady I should say, $49. Uh, and then this one right here, Kathleen for $39.99, both sold. And here's a nice stoneware crock that's just coming up, priced at $42. Check that one out. Big blue, uh, not big blue, but there's a blue writing on there anyways. Maybe, it's, maybe that says like 5L, 5 liter, maybe? I'm not sure. That, make, that doesn't make sense. But it is signed. Some more advertising sold. This guy right here, $18. Stop Puff Fabric Softener. Stay Puff, I guess, maybe is a better way to say it. $12 on this one on the Little uh, little Boy Blue Advertising. A lot of these old bottles and stuff sell in that $5 to $20 range. Uh, we sell a bunch of them almost every day. All right, let's check out some sold bins up here some more. Uh, here's a $50 Pyrex with the blue, uh, blue Bluebird decoration on it. Another bowl right here is an orange uh, priced at $15, $14.90. And then $64.95 on the black silhouette. Uh, that's an interesting pattern. I'm not sure which one that's called, but it is a divided dish. Uh, all up here in the soap bins. And right beside them, all the Halloween stuff. So you got $12 grouping there. Here's a little pie bird priced for 12 bucks on the pie bird. I like that little uh, deer right here. He's cute. $5 on the deer. Put that one back. And then the two big Halloween plastic molds. Uh, flower pots up on the top that's kind of interesting but I don't know the price hmm uh, oh they're 25 each uh, on the price and they're adding to this pile they got all the little uh, I guess these are elves elves on the shelves or pixies or whichever ones they're called but this guy here is a set of four for $29.50 and then the hat pins this is a $65 hat pin right here uh, that's kind of nice colors this one's 20 on the blue and then this guy right here, gold filled, uh, interesting again, priced at $30 on all the hat pins. That's all sold. 1985 Harley Glide Bar for 50 bucks. It's sold. All right, guys, so Josh and I are on our way to a couple house calls. Uh, it's hot out here, man, it's hot. It's like 102 degrees or something. Um, but anyways, we're gonna go attempt to take camera with this. If they'll let us take the cameras inside, then uh, we'll take you along. If not, then we'll talk to you about it when we get done. So this is an interesting seller's cabinet. It's got the drawers and the doors down here, which I have not had one where the top flips. I think this is pretty cool. Let me show you. Check this out. Now that, that is pretty wild. Very interesting. It's got the push buttons right here. It's all original. This is probably, I'm guessing, from like the 30s. I don't know if there's a date actually on it or not, but original paperwork on the inside as well. The timing glass and the cooking hands, it's all right here. Uh, just kind of cool, you know. I haven't had one with it, a flip enamel top uh, exactly like this one. But, uh, yeah, that's here and sitting here for sale. Uh, also, we're just kind of looking around the house right now. There's some paperweights here, a little basket. I like the little uh, dolphin there. That one's kind of cute. Um, 
the compote's kind of cool. A yeah, very interesting piece. And then over here, a little daisy uh, butter churn. That one looks like a, probably, was that four quart? Yeah, four quarts. The paddle's in good shape. It's got your screen in there. Uh, pretty decent but uh, daisy butter churn. So we'll see if uh, we can pick up that one. A lot of houses like this have all of these uh, old glassware that nobody wants to use anymore. It's such a sad thing because Sims, I think, are so undervalued on a secondary market. You go new and pay such a, a large amount for them, but when we sell these at auction, generally I'll get two, three, four dollars for big sets like that. So there's just not a lot of market there. But the hall teapot's kind of cool. That's a fun piece, very sellable. Like I said, it's like no, no, but it's fine with us. Interesting guys yeah. through here. We're going to kind of work through. Everything in here is. Okay. You know. yeah. But I yeah. think this is kind Interesting. of... Interesting. So let's look through a all little bit of everything. We're going to run through the whole house. There's the oil lamps on there. There's a couple of pieces of Fenton. Uh, the ceramic holiday, holly stuff is kind of cool in today's market. Um, I really like, I'm really digging the quilt over here, a little basket quilt. Um, and there's some other stuff in through here. So we'll, we're going to work through the whole house once and then we'll come back through and go over it slow and see if we can't figure out a price on some stuff. I like that little rose bolt right there. That's pretty. Uh, it's interesting. There's a cherry, cherry, 1840, 1850, one drawer stand. Uh, maybe a tad bit later than that. But anyways, one drawer stand that we used to sell for two, two fifty uh, auction price. Down to down, the last one I sold was like sixty bucks. So that's kind of hard to do something with. But yeah, uh, we're just kind of walking through the house, taking a look. Really cool country pie saved. I like that. Yeah, that's for sure something we could use. It's been refinished at one point, um, but it's got a nice punch tins on it, ready to go back into a house again. Uh, nice turned legs on there. So that's a cool pie safe. We'll see if we can't get something figured out on that one too. Okay, so what we ended up agreeing on is we are gonna buy all of these items that you see here on the floor. Um, where that's what we're gonna get. So we got our, the Pea Buckley Moss print, uh, all the items here on the floor. And Josh's gonna start wrapping them up. I am. Oh, <laughs> Oh, the car, it, yeah. it, we gotta push it back in. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so we ended up getting the pie safe. Uh, we got the pie safe, the blue cupboard, and the smalls that we showed you. And uh, now we're gonna go on a second house call here. So let's see what happens next. Okay, so the second house call, we didn't take the camera inside with us this time, but uh, we had been at this house one time before and they had called us back out. But what's really cool is we found some interesting pieces of art this time. Uh, so Walter E. Buckman, uh, it looks like a Vietnam era, World War II maybe, uh, watercolor. That's kind of cool. I like that piece a lot. Uh, we picked up several quilts. It was a really cool uh, hand-painted cream and sugar set here. So you can see the packing job on this one. Uh, we didn't have boxes and paper with us, but I thought that was pretty cool set. Uh, Hand-painted cream and sugar. Uh, we got six quilts total. Uh, very cool little brass uh, or copper bucket here. It's got dovetail bottoms in it. We found some enamel uh, pieces out in the garage. We did find a little uh, little plane. I think that was a, I don't know if it's got, it wasn't marked. A couple brass Chinese pieces with some inlay stones in it. Um, so that one there and this guy right here. Uh, we did get a piece of glass right here. This is cool. Uh, this one looks possibly Italian. I'm not 100%. Could be a Chinese one. I'll have to look a little closer on that. I'm not 100%. And we got like six pieces of Fenton total, uh, or five. Uh, so here's one of them. Signed Fenton, orange tree pattern. Um, yeah, here's a cranberry one over here. Cranberry piece right here. Uh, that looks like Pilgrim, actually. I think that's probably Pilgrim. Uh, could be Fenton, might be Pilgrim. Uh, anyways, that is in the load. This one here in the box was kind of an interesting piece. Let me show you this one. All, all found uh, at the house. Um, very nice handle on this one. Here it is. If I can get it down there. See the little swirl in there? Again, the colors on this one are, look a little bit like Pilgrim. Um, I'm not saying 100% uh, who made that, but it's got a polished bottom on it. Uh, and let's put that back over here. Don't want to accidentally have an accident. Um, so all of those items went today, uh, all in here. And these are all going to be headed out to the antique center tomorrow. And we got about five or six other paintings up here. So overall, not a bad house call day. Uh, again, Josh and I, uh, ran a couple little house calls. So that's cool. Hey guys, I did not get a word of the day from Mammal. Uh, so I thought, you know, 
Let me give a word of the day today. My word of the day is going to be honor. Um, the Bible tells me to honor your mother and father, and you shall live a long life in the land. Uh, and so, you know what? Mom and dad have done a great job, um, put up with all of us kids for a long, long time. They're still always helping out, and anytime we need them, they're always there. Um, Mom's just got a, an awesome soul to her, and uh, it's such a, such a blessing to have her and dad uh, as my parents. And so uh, today I want to just say thank you to mom and dad uh, for just always doing, uh, you know, always being there, always, always watching out for us, uh, working hard. When we were little, man, we had it rough. They, uh, they had four kids, no employment, um, lived in a small little house, and uh, they, they struggled a long time. And uh, they, they did a great job teaching us to, to, uh, to live, live the right way, to be humble, um, uh, you know, and and over time, uh, just able to work work hard, and, and uh, you know, they showed us that not just said the words, but they've always worked really hard their entire lives. And so this this word of the day is for my mom and my dad. I just want to say thank you. Um, yeah, love you and appreciate everything you do. And I'll let mom give her word tomorrow. But you guys, uh, when she gives her word, she means it from the bottom of her heart. She's incredible, incredible person. Always took us. Uh, to the best care of us, always made sure we had what we needed and um, just poured out love on us all the time. Uh, Dad always worked hard, sacrificing time and, and uh, stuff for all of us to be able to do what we do. And, and, and uh, yeah, he laid the path uh, for me to be in this position that I am uh, in the auction business, in the antiques business. You know, I grew up when I was eight, seven, eight, nine, ten years old. I was around this stuff all the time and fell in love with it. Um, remember watching him auction off uh, antiques when I was eight, nine, ten, and just had to sit behind him on the auction block and uh, look out in the crowd and, and uh, be, be amazed at what people would buy and how much they would pay and, uh, and why. And then uh, just, they've done a lot of things for us over the years and guide, guide us as the best they could. And uh, man, I, you know, such such a blessing to, to have my parents. And so to all of you guys out there that don't know mom and dad really well, because you're always seeing me and my brothers on here all the time, good people, uh, big hearts. Um, and today I'm going to honor them. Uh, so that wraps up our video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, and yeah, we will see you tomorrow. I'll get back to, to Mamaw's word of the day tomorrow, but today there you go, Mamaw. We love you. Love you. Josh loves you. We all do. Um, uh, Papaw, we all love you. The whole burner brother crew, our whole families. Thank you guys again so much. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our videos, guys, uh, every day. Take you behind the scenes at America's biggest and best antique center, the heart of Ohio Antique Center, 122,000 square foot facility that we are uh, currently. Uh, uh, I say we're we're just kind of uh, making sure making sure the ship goes forward. You know, we, we currently are blessed with that responsibility of owning it, and uh, one day we'll pass that torch on. Um, but right now, uh, we're we're owning and operating it and uh, trying to grow it, uh, bless it. Um, so. Come out and check it out. The Heart of Ohio Antique Center is an amazing place. Uh, we invite you out. If you do come out, if you do come out, you catch Josh or myself or Janet, our uh, manager. Uh, lunch is on us first time you visit. So come out, see us. We'll buy you lunch. And uh, yeah, have a, have a blessed day. We'll see you guys tomorrow.